Hello my beautiful people, it is Cherry Hunt here and I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, I'm an Australian stripper and I usually work in Toowoomba as my home club, but at the moment I am traveling around Australia and filming it for you guys. I don't know why I said Australia so weird, I've got the gum caught in my mouth. Last week was Cairns. A few weeks before that was Rocky, and now it's Sydney. I've been wanting to work in Sydney for the longest time, the longest time. I'm working at Sefton Playhouse, and I have had actually quite a few guys in the comments and well, not in the comments, but in my DMs and stuff, asking if I'll ever be working at Sefton. So I'm really, really excited. They are only four-hour shifts, so I'm working tonight, which is Thursday, tomorrow for Friday, and then Saturday. We got some really good shifts. She gave us like really good time shifts I think. We start at 9.30 tonight and then we finish at 1.30 and then on Friday and Saturday we start at 10 and we finish at 2 which is pretty good like that's a lot of the day we've got so much to do with the day so I'll probably go out for some food. I'm trying not to spend as much money as I can because last week with cans only broke even and I just uh, I was so ill. I'm still a bit sniffly but I'm nowhere near as sick as what I was last week. You guys would have been able to hear it in my voice and just in the way like my face was so puffy and just my face is still puffy like right here like I still got like I think I, ha I definitely had a sinus infection for sure. I was very ill but I'm leaving to the Gold Coast right now which is it's 7.15 I've got to get there at 10 because I've got to go check in my baggage at like 10.30. And then I'm meeting my friend down there already who's already there. We catch the plane at 10. No, we catch the plane at 12.20 and land at like 1.50, I think. Which is great because that means we can just check in straight away. Uh, they've already took my payment for the hotel, but I thought the hotel was only a seven minute walk. Apparently, there's like a person walking across the road. I don't want them to see me. Apparently, it's a seven minute Uber. I thought it was a seven minute walk. It's a seven minute Uber. It's an hour walk, so we won't be walking. I'll probably pay for the Uber there. She'll pay for the Uber back. I'll pay for the Uber there. It's kind of like a house fee, except just for the Uber. There, I can't remember, because this lady called me when I asked if I could put us on the roster. Um, she did call me and tell me the rules, so I can't read them out to you. I can't really remember. But oh, I was supposed to bring a lock. Shit, I might grab one of those before I leave. She told me to bring a lock for the lockers. ID, just the usual. Lingerie, heels, the usual for that. We're not allowed to drink at this club, which is fine. Like, I think that's... I've never seen a club that doesn't allow you to drink, especially because it just came from one that, like, you know, you get a free shot and a drink when you start working. It's very, like, different worlds. The two worlds collide. But, yeah, I'm going to check the time because I really don't want to be running late. So I'll have my ass... Oh, it's only seven o'clock. Oh, it's literally only seven o'clock. Okay, I still got half an hour. I don't know why I thought it was a lot later than that. So I think I'm gonna actually just put some stickers on my suitcase. Because I've been doing Pilates at night time, just at my house. Just because I've been sick, I've still wanted to like keep on top of my fitness. And I feel very toned. I don't know if anyone else has done Pilates, but that shit kills. I feel like it burns more than they my weight workouts, but anyways. I wanted one of those silver suitcases, but I can't find them anywhere. So we're going with this bad boy that literally cost me 40 bucks at Reject Shop. It holds, so. It, this is 23 kgs of luggage, by the way. It holds a decent amount for how small the bag is. Brooklyn's bag last week was huge, if you guys remember it. Bob is like, where we're staying to is really nice. It's called the Palms Hotel. It's only costing us $156 each for three nights. And my plane flight there is actually cheaper flying out of the Gold Coast than it is flying out of Brisbane. So the plane flight there was 118 and the plane flight back was 100. Oh, no, 111. And then the plane f ride back was only 100. And that's with luggage included. So I think that's a pretty good price. I think that's pretty damn decent, if I'm being quite honest. Because... I paid $450, no, $400 for my flights to Cairns, but through Virgin, like through everywhere else, if you didn't th fly, if you didn't drive to the Sunshine Coast to get the Bonza plane, it would have cost me like 800 bucks. I wouldn't have done it because that's an outrageous amount. It was like 800 bucks there, like 600 bucks back. I was like, yeah, that's a no for me. Thank God I didn't do that because I would have been out of pocket some serious money. That's why I do not take other people's word for clubs at all because you just never know like especially like when they could have gone it could have been a lot better time of the year or a really good week look how cute i just put some extra i wish i could put this on like more i don't think i'll be able to tell oh no oh no oh no i can oh hey fucking press this shit down get in there this is a really cool thing with the club so this is how i think it works and how i've been told that it works whether it works like this 
I don't know whether I'm like completely wrong. I have no idea. So, this, so they only have eight minute dances there. That is it. It's literally only eight minute dances. And then they give you like a hundred dollars and you change that hundred dollars into coins, like they're tokens. So you get five tokens per hundred. And then you put one of those tokens into, so basically two, four, six, eight, ten. So each token represents 20 bucks. You put that token into the machine and it turns on a room for you to do this lap dance. So once you do that, this room turns on and that token that you put into the machine is the club's cut. So now those four tokens that you have left are your cut. But I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can exchange those at the end of the night if you have more. Um, because you have to buy those tokens right at the beginning. So I don't think you can actually go exchange like $100 for it. You have to buy those tokens. If they want to book another one, you have to go and put another token into the machine for it to turn on again. It's very confusing. This will be the first club I'm working at that has tipping dollars. They've got Sefton Playhouse money. I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting to like have some like people just be Before my account got deleted, my TikTok account got deleted. They used to follow me on TikTok. We used to like each other's stuff all the time. So I'm quite, quite friendly with some of Sefton's people but I don't know I'm really excited I'm like giving it a little love tap my god like trying to just smooth it all out instead it looks like I'm just rubbing up my suitcase I uh, packed some clothes just for like I don't know if we're gonna be going out anywhere or what we'll be doing during the day we've just got so much time to kill like we're gonna start till 10 which means I don't have to start getting ready till 8 which means that's a whole day in Sydney for three days so I've got to go fill up my car and that is the one thing that I do have to go do and I also have to go grab some coffee and then We've got to drive two and a half hours to the airport. Why do I literally have a blocked nose again? As soon as I start talking about work, it's like, it's like, I'm really, really excited. Ooh, this one's like a tick off the bucket list for me. Also, I don't know why I'm chewing gum. I think I'm trying to like pop my ears, but I reckon we should go get a coffee and then be on our way. All right, guys. So I just went and got my cheeky Zarafas. I got a smashed avo and a coffee and I went to go to go get like a locker, like a lock because I forgot. I was talking to you guys about that before that I need a lock for the locker. I won't talk with it in my mouth because I don't like talking with food in my mouth. And last time, the avocado got stuck to my lip and I couldn't use the clip because it was so gross. Anyways, I went to go to, oh my gosh, to go get a little lock and it's closed. I forgot that it's literally 7.31 exactly. That's good timing. She's going to be so impressed with me when I get there on time. Um, usually it's her I'm waiting my ass over for. <laughs> but I got my coffee. It's a bit bitter today. I think they might have forgotten the camera, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put on a podcast. I love listening to Two Hot Takes. They're probably like one of my favorite podcasts or the one with Drew Alfredo. Alfred oh, I don't want to butcher her name. She's too much of a queen to butcher her name. What is it? Alfredo? Oh my God, she's going to, if someone, if someone, someone's going to comment being like, oh my God, you disrespected the queen. I'm sorry. We'll probably get there in about two and a half hours. So by the time I get there, it'll be 10 and then we can go to the airport and check in our bags at about 10, 20. And actually we probably can check in our bags straight away. Oh no, about 10.20. Yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go, I'm really excited. I'm also tired, I've only slept five hours, but we've got this, we're gonna power through. At least I'm not as sick as what I was last week. We're boarding a bit late, but it's still on time. We landed at, when did we land? Like 20 minutes ago at like 2.30. So the plane was delayed like half an hour. And then we get to the baggage. We're like, perfect. Sydney airport for food is like immaculate. Every time I come here, I get like a little Benny bagel wrap. It's got like hollandaise in it and hash browns, eggs. So good. Had it after my surgery. And then we go to the baggage claim and we see, like we grab our bags, right? And then we see like cafes. We're like, perfect. So we go up and then we realize we've got to go back through security to get like to the cafe food which we're not allowed to do so we had to get something from this little cafe downstairs and got a little chicken schnitzel sandwich which i'll show you guys later and natasha got like this little salami sandwich she got her straight away mine they put in like three pieces before mine and then and then put in my thing and i was like damn it because i had ordered the uber it's like a 60 dollar uber so i didn't want it to cancel and i was like shit so that was good fun and fresh we both need a nap <laughs> We're both tired. The weather is so shit. I thought I was gonna die in that plane. Every time we hit turbulence, it like you could feel the plane like drop. And I was like, oh, here we go. Today's the day. Today is the day. I was nearly kissed the floor. We kissed the floor. Anyways, we're on the way to the hotel now. Uh, I'm checking in, and then we've got like three hours, four hours before we start getting ready because we have to get there at nine. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we're getting ready. All right, guys, so there's been a few issues, but nothing bad, just like pain in the ass things. So anyways, our hotel room is, I just had a shower, so I look a little bit like, anyways, our hotel room, really cute. Like, 
It's a motel, right? So we've got two beds. I'll explain this issue right here soon. <laughs> it looks like I'm pointing to you, but I'm, you're not in it. No, I should. No, I was just. I just wonder. I was like, what issue? This issue. This the one bed? right here. No. Oh, I like, couldn't see them. You're like, what the fuck? Um, and then this is. So we've got two beds. It's like a queen and then a normal bed. And then my suitcase is an absolute mess because of the situation. And then <clears throat> that's just like a little TV unit, little boom. And then this is a bathroom. It's actually kind of cute, but we're both gonna have to squish in here to do our makeup. Here's the thing. So what happened was when we got here, I was like, damn, I really hope that I have my stockings and I have my eyelashes. So I didn't think about my eyelashes till later. I was like, I really hope I have my stockings. And then I'm like, no, nah, there's no way. Like I bought them just for this. I had them in my hand. I definitely put them in there. I'm like, this is going to be like the underwear incident all over again where they're in my bag and it's fine. Get here, searching all through my bag. My stockings aren't there. And I, my sets need stockings to be able to like look cute. So I'm start stressing. I'm like, great. I can't dance without stockings. So I literally looked up the closest Maya. We got an Uber there. Found this beautiful shop, by the way. It'll be posted on my TikTok. Stunning. I'll be buying some stuff there. And then we went to Maya. And I got a different pair of stockings to what I usually do. But these ones are probably going to look better with my sets. Because they're more like... But they've got like the top of them. Like transparent. But they've got like the top of them. as like the normal black gartery part. So uh, Natasha and I just put ours together. We both got a pair. And it was came down to $25 each. So I'm going to do kind of like a total up of what I've spent so far. And then we're going to see if we can just make that back tonight. So then I'm sort of stress-free. At least I've made back what I've spent, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, we had some food as well. That was yummy. Oh, and you can also smoke in the hotel. So not like in the rooms. You can't smoke in the rooms, but you can smoke in the hotel. So they have a like a um, VIP lounge. So it's like pokies and stuff but you can smoke while you're playing the pokies that's dangerous after work i um, luckily i'm not a gambler otherwise that would be all my money would be going to that you can smoke in like when you're at the bar and stuff inside really weird and surreal it felt kind of weird i was like mm. but i smelt it when i came through i was like i smell the smoke it smells like it's like cemented into the carpet that kind of really like dank smell of like wet cigarette i was like i smell that and it was all through the hotel and yeah that you can smoke all through the hotel just not in the rooms Really weird contrast. It's also pouring down rain. But I'm gonna total up what we, what I've done so far. This is like Ubers and stuff too. Like we've been splitting all the Ubers. I paid for the Ubers to Namaya because that was my bad and I really needed stockings. So the hotel was 156 each for three nights. And then the plane tickets were what, 211 were they? So that's already up to 367 just to get here and the hotel, which is actually not that bad. And then the Uber from the airport, I'm just gonna do my half. So the Uber from the airport was 30. I also got that food there which was 20 so that's already up to 412 417 and then two ubers so one was 15 to the place and then i spent 15 dollars on the tights and then i spent 15 dollars to get back and i spent 10 dollars on a drink so all up i've spent 472 dollars so far on this trip i can claim all that on tax so that's a 10 out of 10 but i'm hoping that i can just make that back tonight if i can make that back tonight i'll be happy and then friday and saturday can be like a like money nights is what I'm hoping I can at least make a minimum of $472 to get back the money that I've spent. We start getting ready at 6 30 ish. We've got to get there by 9. Probably order an Uber like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes earlier so we don't, we're not late. And then fingers crossed we can at least make $500 tonight as a minimum. That's what I've totaled up that we've spent. $472 is what we've spent so far. So if we can just at least make that back tonight, I'll be happy. I'll see you guys in a little bit when I'm ready for work. All right, guys, don't mind the hair dryer in the back. I am really liking the makeup vibe I've done tonight. I've done a lot more matte. I feel like it makes me look like I've got less angles in my face. And I've got my two dimples back. When I lose weight in my face, I get three dimples. I get one, two, three. How cute anyway so it is eight o'clock 807 to be exact i'm gonna wear my baby blue set that's got the corset if you guys have watched my last video you guys know which one that is i wore it in cans on the first night on wednesday and then i'm gonna also pack these stockings i can't forget them i actually might get dressed now just so that it's easier um when i'm there so i don't have to like get dressed in the change room i'm not sure how big the change room is gonna be if it's gonna be small the two other clubs i've gone to the change rooms have been pretty small so i just don't want to take the risk um but yeah a little nervy might have a cheeky like little shot or something before work maybe not because you know I like to drink this so I don't want to like turn up intoxicated or anything but yeah I'm a little nervy I'm gonna just like wear trackies and stuff in but I am excited 
I'm really excited. Hopefully I can film a little bit while I'm in there. If not, you guys will see more of me afterwards, but I'll definitely try to film as much as I can in the change room. But, oh, what's going on with my phone? Why is it having issues? How the details go, like, of everything of the club. Oh, I also don't want to waste too much time just because I am only there for four hours, so you might not see as much of me, but hopefully it's busy. Hopefully I can make at least $500 tonight minimum. Pray those stripper gods. And I'll see you when I'm there. Guys, this club is incredible. I've met some girls that watch me on YouTube and it's so cute. They're like, oh my god, I used to watch you when I was a baby dancer and wanted to start dancing. So cute. I've had two eight minute dances. I've made way more than what I thought I would have in an hour and a half. It's actually insane. It's insane. Like, I did not expect it at all. I can't wait to do a money count for you guys, but I've done two eight minutes. I've done two stages, which turned out really well. And then Tasha and I just did a dance for three people. So we're going to split that up now. I'm going to figure out this token system because I had to put two tokens in. She had to put one for three people, so we're going to figure that out. But, yeah, I don't know what the go is with that. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I've done another stage set where I got tipped a little bit. I actually took my bra off on that stage because they wanted to tip me, but only if I took my bra off. Then I met this other guy, and he's just been, like, tipping me $20 um, just to sit and chat with him for a couple minutes. But I've got another stage set coming up. But I've only had two eight-minute dances and then a eight-minute dance with three guys. So... So bad, I've still got an hour left while I'm here, but definitely pretty good for a Thursday. I'm pretty happy with that, I'm not gonna lie. So I've met two girls that watch me on YouTube who like watch me when they're baby dances and they're like, we saw the camera in your bag and then it clicked who you were. And I was like, oh my God, so that's so cute. They're absolutely adorable. We've just been like talking and they're so sweet. And the girls here are just beautiful, like so welcoming, just so lovely. We've got three minutes before we've got to go on stage again. I have no idea of anything that I've made. I've got so many tipping dollars, like, so many tipping dollars in here. I don't even understand. You get a dollar sixty out of every two dollars, so I don't know, but I'm starving. All right, guys. So we just did our last stage set. Um, I ended up only making like four dollars on that stage set. It was it's pretty quiet now. There's not many people going. It's one o four. I've got twenty six minutes left of my shift. No wonder in the four hour shifts. I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted. I cannot wait to eat something. I was like, oh, I'll probably just go straight to bed. No, I'm starving. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I could really go for like a. I don't even know. There's like a pizza kebab place right next to us. I might get food there. I'm sick of the kebab food because of um, cans, but we'll go with it anyway. It's the end of the night. I've been talking with some guys at the pool table. We haven't had another dance. Uh, my makeup held up a lot better than usual, so I think I'll definitely be doing more matte. And also, my eye makeup looks still immaculate, so... So now turn for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna head home now, and then I'll do a money count when I'm home. And Well, not home, at the hotel. Let's go get some food. And we'll see how much we made. So back at the hotel, I'm gonna do this money count because we, so we went to this pizza shop that's next to where we're staying. And we got a peed, like a meat, meatball peed. Anyways, this was just a large, this is huge. But then they actually like gave us a pizza, pied? <laughs> pied? <laughs> it's a pied. P -E well, it's spelled P-E-D-E, -E, so I'm just saying. P-I-D-E. No, it's not. I promise. I promise. Oops. Anyways, Make a little voting <laughs> um, in the poll. Do you guys decide. So we're gonna split this, and then we're gonna save this for tomorrow. So that's tomorrow's food. How good. We're gonna do a money count. I have no idea what I've made. I only spent twenty dollars on a token, which I switched with Natasha. That was very confusing. I've made a lot in like these, but I don't actually know how much this is gonna be. Like that's a lot of tipping dollars. Um, and then I've also got all my cash from like dances. So I did two eight-minute dances, and then Natasha and I did an eight minute dance for three men. So it was like a hundred, a hundred, and then like $20 per extra person. Um, so I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the cash first. So some of these are from tips as well, like from the stage. So I'll do 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, oops. Um, 320, 330, 335 dollars in cash. And then we're gonna go through all these. So, so you get a dollar sixty out of these. So they take out 40, 40 cents because it's their forty percent. So they do forty percent here. I thought it was twenty, but it's forty. So I'm gonna just like count all of these, I think, and then I'm just gonna like times how many of these there are by one point six and that would work. Quick maths. I'm on low percentage on my camera, so I've got to do this quick. So I've got one. I've got 56 of these two dollars. So I'm going to times that by 1.6. So all up I made only 89 dollars in tips out of these. 
which I thought would be more. Mm. I thought it would be more than that, but that's a big sack for only 89 bucks. Um, and then I'm going to plus on, how much did I say I made? 335 I think I said. So all up I made $424.60, which is so close to making back the money that I would have made, that I've spent... Which, like, isn't bad. Um, I just needed an extra, like, 40 bucks to make back the money. But I feel like I feel like the weekend's going to be good. They said it was really quiet, but it was pretty busy. Like, this is a fat stack for only 80-something bucks. Mm. It's a fat stack. Anyways, we're going to eat this food, and then we're going to go to bed and have a fat sleep because I am exhausted from all the traveling, and I'm ready for all the beds. lady's conversation. I think someone cheated and she's going off a nut. So, oh my god, I look so tired. I <laughs> do, like on the camera. Just in general. <laughs> yeah, it's been a big day. It's been a big day. <laughs> Of doing fuck all. Um, alright guys, so I actually just realised last night I did not explain at all how this club works because I was so ready to go to bed. And like today we slept in. I only slept until like 12. So I definitely could have gone for like more sleep. And then we had a fat feed. Oh my god. The place where we were staying has a bistro. The yummiest food. And then we played some pool and then we raced each other. And then we came back and had a nap. While she had a nap, I fell asleep. I, I couldn't fall asleep. Race each other? Yeah, we race. Oh, yeah, you should probably, like, say <laughs> we race each other off. Like, we're, like, on the roads. <laughs> no, but there was, like, these little arcade machine, like, racy car things. <laughs> so, yeah, so tired. I was like, I'm so tired. tired. I'm going to explain how this club works. So, those tokens that I was talking about, these are them. Uh, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but they gave us six free tokens at the beginning which means like three free lap dances three lap dances where we didn't have to pay the club forty dollars so we just got three hundred dollars out of three lap dances you okay are you okay I need... do, it again. <laughs> do it again well i didn't even understand what you were saying i'm sitting right here are you I think okay? i need to go again i was like are you crying what's wrong <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are watering from laughing. I was like, I'm like, hey. I don't even know what she said. Like, I'm just sitting here like, what are you talking about? <laughs> One point <of> commission. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're gonna have to rewind this. Alright, so, these are the tokens. Even my eyes are like, puffy. <laughs> these are the tokens. Stay focused. <laughs> I'm Alright, so these tokens, these bad boys. So we got six of them. So each token is $20. To unlock a room, to actually like dance in, you have to put two of these bad boys in to unlock the room and the lights turn on. So when the lights turn on, you start dancing and then the light flashes off when the eight minutes is up and then it turns on for an extra two minutes for you to get changed. Each little room has something different. You do not have a controller in the room. That's a little nerve wracking. That's a little nerve wracking. Um, so yeah, you do not have a controller in the room. Wow, I want to roll now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, and <laughs> and each room has something different in it. Like some of them just have like normal lap dancing rooms. Some of them have poles in them, um, and then there's some that have massage chairs in them. So you can convince someone to be like, "Oh, you want a massage in a massage chair? Like book book a lap dance with me, and you get a massage chair. That's pretty cool." And there's a, like a lot of lap dancing rooms. So there's the main hallway, and they have this box that lights up to show you which rooms are in use. So you don't actually put your tokens into someone else's room because otherwise you extend their lap dance and then that's a big fuck around and you don't get refunds there's no refunds on that and then also with these coins you have to buy them at the beginning of your shift if you're not giving them just because we started they gave us those six free ones so i actually only well natasha and i had that dance with those three guys and it's a three coin room so you only pay sixty dollars in commission i mean sixty dollars in what is it called not commission fees like room high fees oh, basically yeah. yeah so it's three tokens so i put in two and natasha put in one and then she you bought a token i bought a token off i sold you a token 
Yeah, but for half. So we halved it. So she gave me ten dollars more. So we halved that token. And then, like, when we split that, so I we both got one hundred twenty dollars out of that dance. But then she gave me ten dollars to make up for the token that I put in there. So we split the token. It's really confusing to like say everything. We it took us a while to get the hang of. Um, I bought a token off her. So I had two tokens for tonight. So I can at least do one lap dance first and then I have to go put like a hundred bucks into the machine. So I basically use my first lap dance money into the machine, be able to do more lap dances. <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so tired. tired. I think you're just sleepy. I don't I'm know. sleepy. You usually smash this out like, I know. like 40 kilometers an hour. You're, you're like, I know. And now you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know what's going on with me. I think it's that light that's making me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's that light? <laughs> what? You're talking what? shit. Talking I'm shit. Like... <laughs> you're like, fuck. I'm like, Nah, you like she's the light. You're like it's that light. It's 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 the light. Pretty it's pretty bright to be quite honest with you. Um. Anyways, we don't start till. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get it together. Oh. What are you doing? Last night you're like, all right, what ten percent battery left? Like, let's smash this out. Now you're like, oh, no wonder you ran out of battery. <laughs> well, anyways. It's 7.20. We, I'm going to start getting ready at 7.30 so that we can... It's definitely that light. So we could, de so we could go over and have like a shot and a drink because that definitely helped me before starting because I was yeah not thriving yesterday before a little shot and a drink. It definitely helped. Um, what other, were the other rules with the club? Oh, the stage. So you're on yeah. 15 minutes intervals. So we were on at 9.45 and then we got put on at 10.45. And then we put on, why are you laughing? The tipping dollars. Oh, the tipping dollars. Oh, PTSD. Oh, PTSD. You have to laugh, cry. Yeah, we did stage for four times in four hours, so we did stage for a total of an hour. For me, I only got tipped with all the tipping dollars and, like, the, the cut taken out of it. I only got tipped, like, what, $87 out of an hour on that stage. Yeah. Was not thriving with that. And then I got tipped like twenty dollars cash from someone else, and people just like want to switch you their tipping dollars. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, also with lap dances, you have to keep one foot on the floor like cans. So one foot on the floor, waist up. They can't even do knee below, and like you're in the room by yourself. Um, so you have to be really on top of your dance, and you have to guide their hands. And now I understand why you, like it's a guided dance. They because there is no controller, so you do have to guide your own dance. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to smash out another four-hour shift. I'm tired, but I've got this. I'm ready. Ready to make some moolah. I'm keen. Um, I might take like $100 out from what I made yesterday and just pop that into the to 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 token, token machine maybe so I have some extra money so it doesn't feel like I've worked for nothing because I don't want to do a lap dance and then put $100 into the machine and then just be sad because I'll be depressing. Yeah. I'm so making I'm making them wait because it's just a pain in the ass. But yeah, I don't know. I feel... Pretty confident that we're going to make a shit ton of money tonight. I'm excited. Even if I have a minimum of $500, that would be great. Hoping for at least $1,500 would be incredible if I could get to at least two grand, please. For like the night, but we'll see. I'm hoping for at least $1,500 tonight. And tomorrow to make it three and a half. Well, technically three with everything else taken out of it, like all the spending. Um, fingers crossed. But I'm going to go get ready now. And then I will see you guys when I'm glammed up and less tired looking. I look exhausted. And it's John. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying <so> good. That is hell. Oh, that's kind of like a perfect intro to like the night. <laughs> it's better than <laughs> we were singing. <laughs> they could see the position <laughs> that you're right in now. right now. <laughs> the like, the water just dripping down your arms. I'm literally like. Yeah, it's still wet. <laughs> All they have is a disposable camera photo just stuck in my head. <laughs> See? It's the clip. I was like... I was like... <laughs> oh my god, everyone watching is going to be so confused. They're going to be like, let me see her! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, you don't I want that. It. I want that. Private show only for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't brushed my hair out. We're both wearing blue, but it's a different shade of blue. We didn't actually match our sets up by accident this time. We did just match the colours up. We really got to stop doing this. 
<laughs> yeah, it's an issue, but at least it's not the same sets this time. But it's a different colour, yeah. so it kind of works. I just shouldn't have brought two blue sets, but all my other sets were shit, so I was kind of like, meh. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous about the stage situation. I We went and bought two stockings yesterday, so I bought stockings and then Natasha bought stockings, but because my stockings were so ripped last night, I'm wearing the ones that she gave, like, got, um, so I'm probably just going to wear these and hope to God that they do not rip as much as they did yesterday because I really need them for Saturday. Saturday. Good old Saturday. <laughs> I'm doing great, sweetie. Yeah, you did. At least, yeah, at least it's better than Under the Sea that we were singing yesterday. <laughs> we were literally getting ready, so nervous. And we're like, Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Also, I forgot to tell you guys yesterday. So I actually met some girls that watched me on YouTube, and it was so cute. I, like, walked into the change room. I nearly took her out. I walked in so fast. And she's like, I was like, oh, shit, babe, my bad. And then she's like, she just stared. She, like, stopped and stared. She was like... And I was like, oh, I was like, oh no, I've fucked someone off. I've pissed someone off to the max. And she goes, oh my God. I was like, oh, just like, what are you doing here? I used to watch you on YouTube as a baby dancer. I'm like, oh my God. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was so beautiful. And I was like, oh, she was such a, she was just so stunningly just, ah, oh, immaculate. She was just such a beautiful soul. Loved her, loved her. Um, and then there was another girl that I was in the change room with and we had like seen her a few times. You look so slim thick in that. You just look like like real hourglassy. Love this. You look like you've had a BBL. Not next to those girls. They look stunning. <laughs> those girls were so hot. Yeah, and then there was another girl that we were in the change with it, room with and then I walked in. She goes, babe, do you do YouTube? Oh, actually, no. I was sitting with a guy and the guy walked away to go like talk to his friend for a quick second. She comes up and she's like, babe, do you do YouTube? And I was like, yeah, that's me. And she's like, oh my God, like I used to watch you as a baby dancer as well. Like, well, she didn't say as well, but she was like, as, like I used to watch you as a baby dancer. Um, I saw the camera in the change room and I was like, why has someone got a camera? And then I clicked like who you were. And they were just so sweet. And the girls were like, you know, you're exactly like you are on camera in person. And it was just really, like, heartwarming. And then they, one of the girls, like, walked down. She's like, pray to the stripper gods. And she said it so, like, nonchalant. Like, she said it a lot. And she turned around. And she was like, oh, my God, wait, we say that here. And it, I just, like, oh, I, I had tears in my eyes. Natasha literally was like, oh. And I had, like, little tears. I was like, oh, my God, look at my little tears. Eee. It was so beautiful. Uh, but, yeah, the girls were so lovely I've never had so many compliments in my entire life like even hopping on and off the stage like the girls were like love your energy love your outfit love this love that and everyone was just so beyond sweet um which I was definitely a little nervous for um just because these girls are very hot <laughs> and like this is a prestigious club I was like oh no I don't want to be stepping on anyone's turf with like regulars or anything but everyone was so beyond lovely and yeah we're gonna head to the bar that's like connected to where we're saying probably get like a drink just a one cheeky drink and then i'll see you guys at the club and we'll see how much i make i'm probably gonna pack like a hundred dollars just so i can change it into the coins which like makes me sad because that means i've only got like 370 dollars profit from what i've made hopefully i can make like 1500 is the is what i'm aiming for 500 is the minimum that i'm hoping for 500 would be absolute minimum absolute minimum Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alright guys, so I've done two stage sets. I've had two lap dances. I have one straight as I started, and then I did stage, and then I had another one straight off stage, and then I had a guy in, two guys, and me and Natasha in the other room, and then we let them pay us like $50 for photos. But we didn't know we weren't allowed to do photos, so they did pay us $50 each for photos, and then the guy came and told them to delete it. So we still kept that 50 bucks. I didn't ask for it back, but I felt so bad. I also was like, oh no, I'm in trouble. I didn't mean to. I was like, oh, because I'm allowed to have my club. So I was like, oh. Um, but yeah, I just did another stage then. I made some money on stage. Natasha and I just splitting it. And then there was a guy that I'm looking forward to get a lap dance off, but I don't know where it went. Like, disappeared. All right, guys, I don't really know how much I've updated you guys on, but I've done four stage sets and I'm going home now. I'm just waiting on Natasha and I'm getting booked when I was supposed to go home, so I just did that over. And then the lights, like, turned off, but I didn't see, so I danced for an extra, like, two minutes, which was a rip, but that's all right. I'm going to head home now and then we'll do a money count on home and we'll see how much I made. Guys, I definitely sucked at vlogging tonight just because I was so, like, I was really trying to hustle out those dances. I'm definitely a lot more energized than what I was when I was first filming for you guys because I was fucked up. I don't know, I was so tired. Um, even though I was literally asleep all day, but Natasha and I are going to split these because we did a stage set together and we just got tipped like all together. So we're just going to split these ones. I've kept them separate from mine. I feel like I really didn't vlog much just because, so what we've been finding the issue is, is that you have a stage set every hour. Like I told you guys, and smack bang on the hour. So tonight we're on the thirties. So we were at 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, right? So you've got four, but between that, so you do a stage, it's 15 minutes, which is a long stage set being on stage for 15 minutes and that 15 minutes. 
So you're dancing for an hour all up through the night, but guys tip you with these. So you feel like you're dan like this is a lot of money, right? Like a lot of money. You're like, oh fuck yeah. And then when I counted my money last night, I only had eighty seven dollars in these, which was basically all from stage. So an hour of dancing equivalented to eighty seven dollars. Which was a little like Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I kind of like, I was like, shit, because I felt like it was way more. I just couldn't believe that that was all that it was. Um, which sounds like ungrateful, but I don't know. After an hour of dancing and your like, whole body is so achy. And like, I go all out on stages. I'm always trying to be like energetic. So I'm like, <laughs> there was a few asshole guys tonight, not gonna lie. Majority was pretty good. Like, everyone I talked to actually got booked with. The only problem was is that by the time you talk to, you probably only have time to talk to two people between your stage sets and then you get, so that you're talking to them and then they book you and then you've got like another maybe 10 minutes to hustle someone else to get in there before you have to go on stage. So you have to make it really quick and and like what I found the issue was guys would give me their money and then I'd look at the clock and it would be like 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, well if you give me your money now, we book it right now. I'll have at least two minutes to get my ass on stage. But then they would like flan around getting their money out of the wallet. I'm like, well, now I can't do a dance. So I'm going to have to wait 15 minutes, come off from the stage and then do the dance. So I'd take the money from them and then do a 15 minute dance and then come off and then go straight into an eight minute dance. And I just felt like I was only dancing for like one person an hour. I don't know. I just felt like I was very rushed. And like stage is good. Like the lady at the beginning when we first got there was like, you know, you don't want to miss your podium dances, which is staged, because you make a lot of money. It's a very big tipping culture, and it is, but the tipping culture is with these $2. So even though you're making, like, a lot in these little things, these little things here, it still doesn't add up to actually be a lot, if that makes sense. I don't know. Although people throw it like it's, you know, nothing, because it looks like Monopoly money, which I think is smart, because when men are drunk they don't really register this with actual money and they have more fun with it because they can give you way more but it's just i don't know i'm gonna split these up though um and then we'll do a proper money count so i'm just gonna split these now and then we'll do a proper money count because i have no idea and then i'm gonna combine what i made last night because i feel like i actually made less because i had to take money out to make to put in the token machine to get tokens so i kept taking money out what i made last night to put into the token machine to get it, like to get my lap dances i don't know I don't know, I just felt like I was going backwards and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards in money, like up and down so much. I don't know, but I'm going to split this and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so I split what Natasha and I made. So I've got 18 of these, which means I made $36 for my half on that stage, and so did she. And then I'm going to count the rest of them. So 36, 37, wait, wait, sorry, hang on, 18, 18 of them, which means $36, so without the cut. So 18, 19... 20. Okay, so I made 38 of these, which means it was $76 in tips for an hour <laughs> without the cut. So I'm going to times 38 times by 1.6 because that's our cut. I only made $60.80 in these tonight bit rough um but i'm gonna count what i've made in dances which is actually looking kind of promising i've got some hundred dollar notes here so fingers crossed but i don't know i feel like i really didn't actually make that much but i like busted my ass like i was dancing like i literally hustled and i was dancing for everyone i just feel like i just really didn't make that much um i think i had like maybe I don't even know how many lab dances, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twenty, seven, forty, seven, sixty, seven, seventy. So seven seventy plus the sixty dollars is I made eight hundred and thirty dollars tonight. Which is not bad, but I've got to plus in what I made last night and what I've got left from last night's money without these tokens. Like what the tokens is taken out of it, if that makes sense, because it's a commission. So, um, one, 150, oh my god, that's, yeah, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195. So I'm going to plus on the 195. Which takes us up to one thousand and twenty-five dollars 
And then if I add in the $87 in tips that I made yesterday, I think it was $87. I've only made $1,100. That's still good, I guess, but I've made $1,112.80 so far for the week for working two nights and only eight hours. But you, you know what? Like, only eight hours to make that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, I'm actually not mad about it. Probably should have been filming from this angle the whole time. I think that's actually pretty decent. Um, I thought it was less. Just these things drive me nuts. There's so many of them. Um, my camera's on zero minutes right now, so I'm going to wrap this up. Hopefully, oh, if I take out what I needed... So I spent $470 to get here and everything, like food, everything included. So I've made $642 in commission, taking out travel and food and all that. Not bad. Hopefully we can make it a little bit more tomorrow. I'm hoping for like a grand tomorrow at least. Bump it up to two grand, that would be chef's kiss. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the Saturday and it is the end of the week. I am exhausted from only doing four hour shifts like i've only worked eight hours in total but i am so tired because we work our asses off like no wonder they're only four hour shifts because i am exhausted today is definitely like my bad makeup day i don't know i'm just not feeling like the best and also i don't have any stockings to wear tonight so i'm just a little nervous about doing the stage with no stockings it's gonna be a bit hard on my knees and also like not being able to slide around on the stage but like my stockings have big holes in them so I definitely won't be buying those ones again unless it's like work at the the vault because that stage like doesn't rip but the carpet and everything just like rips on those so easily like it was so close so close it would have looked so pretty but oh well it is what it is um what time is it now so it's nine o'clock now I think we're gonna head over to the bar have a, a drink and a shot like we usually do it's our tradition now it's like our tradition whenever we travel somewhere that's what we do we get a shot and a, and a chaser um and it definitely need a red bull because I've had like five hours of sleep I'm exhausted I just kept waking up I fell asleep at like five woke up at eight and then fell asleep again then woke up then fell asleep again then woke up and these these, these cats outside that just keep going off I don't even know I'm wilding out here it's wilding Wilden. Oh, Wilden out here. Uh, I can hear your voice No, that was out there and it was me. Like, You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got to bring all of my money with me because we've got to get all the tipping dollars exchanged. I've also brought a hundred dollar note with me so I can... So I can... <laughs> fuck. So I can put it into the token machine and get my, to get my tokens. I got a hundred dollars. <laughs> Um, out of what I made yesterday so it would bring it down to like a thousand dollars in commission and then I've just put I'm gonna put a hundred dollars in so I can get five tokens and then the way I was doing it is like okay so you put a hundred dollars in you get five tokens right so then that means you get two lap dances out of that so you make two hundred dollars and then you've got to put a hundred dollars in you put a hundred dollars in and you get five tokens so that means you've got six tokens which means you get three lap dances so that means three hundred dollars and then the hundred dollars commission from the last one so four hundred dollars and then you put one of those hundred dollar notes in and you get coins out so it's kind of like up down up down up down so you feel like you're getting money and then you go back and then you feel like you're getting money and then you go back again it's kind of it's it's doing me head in a little <laughs> i'm getting like uh, i don't know it's good because you like have just straight hundreds in your wallet but yeah i don't know i don't know um but yeah i'm not happy about raw dogging it on the last night my knees are so sore <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna head to work soon after this shot and then i will see you guys at work and hopefully we can have like a grand night tonight would be chef's kiss is what i'm hoping for at least a grand at least a grand you guys have had two lap dances and the second one was such a sweetheart <laughs> sorry my ladding <laughs> um such an absolute sweetheart bless his cotton socks but yeah two so far 45 minutes in i've done a stage set Made good tips on stage and I got stage in 15 minutes so fingers crossed I can get a few more dances from there and we'll see how it goes. I was very slack with filming tonight but I literally had no time. I was like go, 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 go. My hair still looks really nice too. But... <sighs> Yeah, same sort of issue. It's like you're trying to fit in dances in between each stage set. You can only realistically fit in two dances in between each stage set. And like, so the first dance I had, he found me from stage. I actually had a few lined up for my first stage set. So I had three guys and then another guy. And so the three guys were kind of messing me around a little bit. So I went with the other guy. I had to wait for him to get, come back from smoke. He booked me for eight minutes and then I came out 
And then this other guy had been like looking for me. So he booked me for eight minutes. I came out and then I had those other three guys come to me, give me the money for all three of them. But I had to hop on stage in 10 minutes. So I couldn't actually do the dance because otherwise it would be cutting it too fine. So then I went into stage set, came off, did a dance for him. We also ran into the security guard that we met in Listen Out. So Listen Out in Sydney where we came last year, we actually like went to the strip club in like King's Cross and we met him and we became friends with him. I actually posted him on my Instagram. He was in there and he didn't even like follow my dancer account or anything and he was like, and I was like, so he was tipping me a lot on stage and stuff. And I actually totaled up, I did total up how much I made in the tips. I just forgot. Got. I think I, I filmed it for you guys so you guys would be able to see but I forgot how much I made in those little tipping dollars I think it was like $60 tonight in them um, but I got them all changed over I did okay I put put it all in here so this is my money from like the tips and also this last couple nights um, and then this is my money from tonight so I actually did a decent amount of dances I can't remember how many I did but I was pretty much in out in out in out and then my last stage set there was three people so there was two girls and a guy and they were like tipping me and then he had like stacks of like, 20s and 10s and stuff in his wallet and just like in, in his pocket and he pulled it out and they fell everywhere so his like friend picked them all up and then like threw someone at me on stage and she had a handful of them and just like gave it to me and so I like held it and he was like oh because it's a lot of money um and then and then as you guys saw in the clip before and then he was like oh you can have it you deserve it so they tipped me like I think it was like $200 on stage and like 20s and 10s but I'm gonna count how much I made in dances for the night um I actually have no idea I haven't totaled up anything at all a girl there tonight got robbed $500 someone has robbed a dancer of $500 out the back in the change room so that's a bit fucky I would have lost it. She walked out as he would because that's a lot of money to rob someone of. Like, that's someone's rent. That's fucked up. But anyways, I'm going to do the money count for the night. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven hundred, two, four, six, eight, ten, eight hundred. 10, 20, 30. So all up, I made $830 in tips, I mean, in dances, and then with the like $60 in tips from those tipping dollars, I made $890 all up for the night, which is definitely a lot better than the rest of the week was. Um, I'm going to combine everything. We're going to see how much I made. This is the tips. All up for tips for the week with these tipping dollars, I made $227.20. I'm keen to see how much I made for the week. I have spent a lot with like travel and just food in general. Luckily the place where we're staying has a really nice bistro. If you guys ever are traveling here and you want to have a really nice place to book while you're here. Um, it's like attached to a bar and stuff. So we just had like a few drinks beforehand. And their food is immaculate. I had these fried dim sims earlier today. We actually just got Uber because we have not eaten. I'm starving. You know what I love is that because they have to just give you like a solid $100. You just end up with so many like greens. Like Sydney men just have greens in their wallet. You barely find men in Toowoomba that have $100 notes. It's always 50 So it was like really nice. I was like, mm, that's a bit yummy. So all that for the week I made... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, seven, two, four, six, eight, ten, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, nine, ten. 20. So all up for the week I made $1,920, which is a lot more than what I thought I made, which means you should have made more. How much did you make, sir? $1,920. I think I made $1,500. Nah, we were in out at the same time. Yeah. I think maybe you did get some money taken out of Oh, I'll do a count right now. Yeah, I'm I'm that's certain. making me a little nervous because you and I were like in out at the same time. I'm certain, like... There, there's no way you definitely made on par with me. Yeah, have a little look-sees. I'm a little concerned because her bag was next to the girl's bag that got... It was. Yeah, got, that got money taken out of, that got 500 bucks taken out of. Um, and her and I were like on par with each other tonight and like the last couple of nights too. So, and like last night she said her money count and it just isn't making sense with tonight's. So hopefully that's fixed. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'll let you guys know in a sec. But I'm not bad. I'm not like mad at that. So I'm gonna take away what I spent, which has been roughly like probably five fifty. Okay, so one thousand nine hundred twenty. Take away five fifty. So all up, I made a profit of one thousand three hundred and seventy dollars, which is not bad. Obviously, I still see all of it in my account. Like, it just replaces the money that I spent. Um, definitely not bad. It was definitely a fun experience. I will be coming back. The Everyone there was so welcoming, so lovely. They were like, oh, you guys are so nice. They're talking about, like, other traveling girls they've had that can be, like, a little bit mean. Um, but, yeah, no, everyone was really, really beautiful. I definitely want to be coming back to this club. And it was just, like, a different hustle because I'm used to the country, you know, banter vibe. But this one was very city on the go, 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 go. And, like, you can just walk straight up to people and ask for a lap dance. And I think almost every single person I talked to tonight actually ended up booking me. That was either luck of the draw or just everyone's willing to book. Um, I think that there was only, like, a few rejections that I had. I was pretty damn happy with that. But, yeah, not bad for the week, especially because I didn't know the club and the hustle or just anything. Is that tipping? Oh, I thought I saw more tipping dollars in my fucking bag. And I was like, there's no way. But, yeah, I'm going to let you know how that goes in a second. Hopefully there's no money taken because that's a bit nerve-wracking. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Cause you, a lot of that is a uh, tipping dollars. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks is a uh, tipping dollars for you, and that was my majority so I tonight. Five thousand dollars in lap dances, which just over the doesn't... week that doesn't make any sense. Cause over tonight. Wednesday, Thursday, and, and today. Yeah, I mean, cause sorry, Thursday, Friday. Sunday. That doesn't make any sense because I made almost a thousand dollars in dances tonight, and you were on par with I me. Was, I was smashing them out left, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should have been over. You should have been more than me because you had more tipping dollars because of that guy. Or we should have been exactly on or par. Or we should have been exactly on par. That doesn't make any sense. I know. I think she's had... Do you care if that's in the vlog? No, that's fine. I it's think she might have had some money taken out of her bag too, considering her bag was like right next to that other girl's. Just because you and I... I'm pretty aware when you're in a dance and I'm not in a dance. And yeah. I feel like we were truly on par like yeah tonight. like every time that I was in a dance you're in a dance like whenever I was on the floor I would see yeah. you like you on the floor and whenever I was in a I dance I would see you come in me neither like, barely like, yeah so I'm going to yeah and you don't even know yeah. either like you don't know for certain you don't have any like yeah concept of I don't remember any of the customers I like, can't tell you the thing is, is we literally locked the bag up like we should have we literally have been locking the bag up and we just didn't tonight and the one night we didn't lock the bag up because i felt rude doing it last night all yeah, the girls were looking at me and I all know. their stuff was out I and know. i was like Fuck, i feel like i'm judging because I'm, I'm like locking my shit up I every know. time i go into it i know but so it was like i was like nah i'm not gonna do that like that was a bit <laughs> that was a bit weird yeah even though we were told to bring a lock for lockers yeah, like we were made aware you do have some money in the side of your bag there no just five dollars okay for the, for the pizza place. <laughs> um, yeah, overall, I think it was a good trip. Definitely, like, worth coming and sussing it out. I think it will be better, too, if we could, like, when it's busy, I feel like I won't. Like, the girls were saying that it wasn't a good night tonight. They were saying that it was. I, I had a good night, too, but the girls were saying that it was a bad night. So I'm thinking, we were asking them in the change room, because we're on, like, we're having a good night. So we were like, okay, well, what's, like, what's a good night for you guys? Because... We were like, okay, well, maybe they're good nights are like two and a half grand nights, right? Mm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, if you're thinking like a $1,000 night is eh, maybe like it's a two and a half grand night because I've seen like girls make that money there. So I was like, okay, that must be the that must be the thing, and especially because you can walk up and like hustle those dances. I did find out girls are doing longer shifts, like four-hour shifts, six-hour shifts, like 10-hour shifts. Girls are doing longer shifts there, which means like obviously you make a lot more money, like you would make a lot more money. But that would mean like six stage sets, eight stage sets. I would die. I, my whole body is oh God, aching. I've done three hours of stage in the last three days. Let that sink in. Three hours of me spinning around on a pole. Let that just, let that sink in for a second because I'm dying. My whole body. I literally, we rewarded ourselves with Maccas because we are that just in pain. <laughs> just, what is this? What is happening? Why do Ubers keep doing this? Is the Maccas not open or something? What is happening? I'm pushing the time back because all I'm looking forward to is that. Yeah, it keeps cancelling Ubers. And we've got to get up in three hours. <laughs> Except uh, oh, we did this really wrong. No, it's open 24-7. I don't know why people are cancelling. Anyways. Um, but yeah, that's basically the end of the vlog.
basically, I feel like I feel like it's a really uneventful ending to this vlog, but I don't know. I, I had a good time. Girls are really nice. It was a vibe. Manager came up and talked to me right at the end. So she was happy to have us back. So we'll definitely be back. The girls like, when are you coming back? You guys are so lovely. It was really sweet. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this traveling vlog. The next couple weeks I'll be in Toowoomba so you'll have the normal Toowoomba vlogs and then I'll be in Gladstone so you'll have another traveling vlog. I'll be planning a few other trips so you guys have more content like this because you guys seem to love it. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video from me. These videos are posted on Sunday and if I'm doing a part one and part two it'll be posted on a Tuesday and then a Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you beautifuls in the next one. Yeah.